hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on art history brush tool in photoshop so if you could see in the toolbox here we have a art history brush here under history brush tool you can press y to access the tool inside the tool menu you have art history so to cycle between history brush and art history brush you need to press shift to y so it keeps cycles between these two tools so once you got this artistry brush tool you can just click and drag on your artwork which will end up giving you um, a look and feel of that uh, paint strokes just like uh, you get in painting some traditional artworks using brush and color okay so get that nice painting effect here so you can stylize any portraits into uh, making it look like a paint or realistic paint so you could see that that part of image looks as if you have painted with some uh, watercolors or acrylic colors okay so what is that actually doing is it is sourcing this uh, history and it is uh, painting up to that particular effect so it is like any other brush inside photoshop so you can increase a brush here okay you can decrease a brush and um, you need to go with a smaller brush and start uh, applying the, this on over the work and it, it looks like a painting okay so the smaller brush gives you the better control on the high frequency details okay so i'm taking a, a medium size brush and let me try with opacity of 25 percent and you could see it is just overlaying that uh, onto the work so it doesn't really look good if you have uh, less percent of opacity okay so preferably high opacity should be uh, picked so once that is done okay so what you have to do is you have a different types of styles which is tight shot so tight shot is uh, giving you uh, the the colors which are like the the stroke is very close okay so it's not a loose uh, if i just say tight long it loosens up that stroke so it's not good to achieve high frequency details so you got uh, loose long also where you get that long streaks um, again when you're doing this make sure that you go for a small size brush so that you get that uh, details visible um, because if you go for a bigger brush you lose that details completely so uh, you have uh, curl effects also so you get a curly stroke and uh, you get that so uh, it looks like uh, you have uh, made this with a uh, woolen um, threads split over or cut over it on a normal canvas okay so it, it's look it looks like that so um, explore to your requirements how you wanted that to be and then uh, you have uh, as you see you got different types of uh, styles how you want the painting should look like uh, after that you got area so area goes up to 500 pixels so which is uh, sort of uh, covering a bigger area so you can speed and up your work to i mean it was like it's very quickly i can complete this painting because of uh, its area it's covering up a bigger area and uh, it looks way faster than um, the area which is 20 pixels so it i have to spend a whole lot of time there so um, if you are lazy then I, uh, I recommend go with a bigger area looks nice so if you just choose the uh, loose curly long yeah it looks way clumsy so i reduce the brush and then yeah that looks pretty awesome so that's uh, area for you 
and then we have a tolerance um, i'll just choose 100 tolerance and start painting over the white flower and then you should able to see it's not going beyond that so the tolerance uh, is actually very sensitive to the contrast so as the colors quickly changed it's not affecting uh, the darker area here you should able to see that so it's only affecting certain part of the image the red flower is untouched the green leaves are untouched only the brighter parts are getting affected with this let me put one and it's showing up result okay so you have one uh, preset brush which you can choose and paint it and uh, however i'm increasing the area to get more control over this uh, canvas so uh, you can try using this on so i'll increase the area so try using this on um, some images like this and this looks like a real painting okay uh, you can even try this printing on canvas with the uh, inkjet printers and uh, you know you get amazing result there so you have turned this uh, uh, photograph into a, a beautiful painting okay it looks like painting that's the use of art history brush tool